Why does doing nothing make you crazy attractive? See, if I sat here and talked to you like this, instead of standing like this, it gives off a much different vibe, doesn't it? My shoulders are high. My stance is very erect and straight. I'm cueing into you. I'm relaxed, I'm comfortable. And so what does it make you feel? It makes you feel relaxed and comfortable. Now, when I go like this, things seem a lot more natural and comfortable. That should tell you that you can be way more attractive simply by doing nothing the right way. So I'm gonna show you five steps to be more attractive by doing absolutely nothing. Number one, turn the experience of getting to know someone into a game of knowledge. This will do something very interesting for your mindset and your approach. For example, if I see someone at a party that I like and I think is cute and I want to go up to them and have a conversation with them, I don't have to worry about all the things I'm going to share about myself and telling them my life story. I just have to think about what do I find interesting about what you're wearing? What do I find interesting about how you dress yourself, your style, your look, your aesthetic? If they dress super gothic, you'd be like, hey, I like your goth style. Like it's very skater. It's very 2000s-ish. You, you, you like skating? Like what are you into, right? Once you feel like there's more to be learned and discovered about the person, you're going to naturally become more intrigued and ask more questions and be more interested and invested in understanding them as a human being. And that energy will project outwardly. It will also make it easier and more inviting and comforting for that person to share with you about them. And make no mistake about it, people love sharing with you about them. If there's one thing you take away from this, it is that people love to talk about themselves. There will never, ever, ever be someone that is more important to you than you. Which brings me to number two and one of the best ways to be as attractive as possible. Listen way more than you speak. You don't want to let them in on the fact that you're asking them a lot of questions so that they'll be more attracted to you. So even when they ask you things, I want you to always point it back to them as if they're the most interesting thing in your life. For example, if in the middle of a conversation, someone asks me, what's your star sign? And I go, yeah, you know, I'm a Taurus. Rather than me going on in detail about all my different birth chart and everything about me, you don't care about me. I'll say, yeah, I'm a Taurus, but I think it's so interesting that you're a Libra. You're a September Libra? Oh, what's your rising? What's your moon sign? Because I feel like based on what I know about you or how you present yourself, you would be like this. And that's really interesting about your book. You see how quickly you can go from answering a question, making them feel like you're talkative and ready to chat, but you project it right back onto them. So you give them a chance to answer and talk again. Because like I said previously, it's so important that people feel comfortable and safe talking to you about themselves. Not just that, that they also feel excited to talk about themselves. Because the natural thing that we all want to do when we meet people, especially people that we like, is we want to talk and we want to share. We want to yap. We want to say this and say that. And we want to tell them all about ourselves because we are the most interesting person to ourselves. But it doesn't allow that person to feel more attracted to you because they're not going to feel more attracted to you by hearing you talk to them about you. I know it sounds crazy. They're going to feel more attracted to you by allowing them to talk about themselves. So it's so important that you listen a lot more than you speak, which leads me to number three. And it goes along with number two. It is so important that you don't react or respond when people are speaking. What do I mean by that? For example, if I'm telling you a story about how I cheated on my ex and you're sitting there listening, you're being quiet and you're listening, but you're going like this. What's that telling me? If I'm telling the story, that's telling me that you don't like what I said. What's that also going to tell me? I should probably stop sharing with you, in which case I'll begin to shut down and speak less. And I'll begin to ask you questions maybe, or just be uninterested in the conversation. Number four, you got to figure out what motivates people. Let's say you're at a party and you meet someone who's an athlete and they're telling you about how competitive they are. You're telling you about how they've always been competitive since birth. They love to win at everything. They like to be number one at everything. Now you know that if you want to be the most attractive version of yourself to them, you've got to make access to you 
feel like a competition. So you can sneak in there things about how, oh, you know, like this guy was uh, in my DMs or I get all these crazy DMs all the time. It's so annoying. I barely answer anyone. I barely even go to these parties and stuff like that. It's so hard to catch me out. Da, 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 da. And you can just go on about how difficult it is for anyone to even get on a date with you because you're so busy and because you have so much things to do and because you don't really like to entertain people. And just that fast. You've made it like a competition where there's so many people competing for your time and you're giving no one access to you. What do I want to do if I'm a competitor? Now I want to be the first one who has access to you. You're using my motivation against me. Number five, show them what they want, but make it feel like an accident. For example, if someone came up to you at a party and they're like, oh, you're so beautiful. You're drop dead gorgeous. You're so handsome. You're stunning. I bet you you're such a heartbreaker. Perfect. That is exactly what you should embody. Listen very closely to what people assume about you when they first meet you or how they first feel about you or the vibe that they get from you when they meet you. That is a perfect example of the energy and the personality they're projecting onto you. The best thing for you to do is to play into that already existing personality that they've projected onto you, especially if it consists of some sort of personality trait or projection that makes you more unattainable, harder to reach, harder to get, harder to have access to, right? We want things that we can't have. So if they think you're a heartbreaker, perfect. Embody the spirit of a heartbreaker. Tell them things that are in line with you being a heartbreaker, but don't make it seem like you're doing it on purpose. Make it seem like it's an accident. You can even deny it and make it seem like it's happening, but it's out of your control. For example, you look like such a heartbreaker. I'm sure you're breaking all the girls' hearts around here. You're such a smooth talker and stuff like that. I can sit back and go, no, honestly, like, I just be being me. I just chill. I don't try to do too much. For some reason, like, people are always, you know, trying to, like, see, see what I'm up to or trying to get an understanding of how I feel about them. And I'm always trying to tell them, look, I'm just, I'm focused on me. Like, I'm not, I'm not really too interested in going on on dates or, because it's not really about who you actually are. It's about who they imagine you to be. And that imagination will always be stronger than the reality. And that doesn't mean that you have to lie about who you actually are. But what it does mean is that the smart people who are trying to be the most attractive that they possibly can be will sit back and listen to what people want and shine the proper light on themselves in the proper perspective, in the proper way, so that people can see them exactly in the light that makes them the most desirable to that individual person.